Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we're going to be diving into a trailer pack that should make logging a lot easier, especially if and when these make their way to consoles. Now, the files for the trailers, not the truck that we're looking at, but the trailers themselves, are basically updated for consoles. They just need to be approved, and then once they pass approval, then they'll be on consoles. But as of recording this video, they have not been approved yet. So, let's go ahead and actually grab the truck that we're going to be using, which is going to be, of course... Red's first gen, we'll fire it up. And we're going to be showing you guys the trailers we're going to be using for this test. Now, you guys know Red's Gooseneck. It's very, very, very well known in the community. But what's not so well known yet is the logging upgrades that he has made to his Gooseneck trailers. Now, this is the variant for long logs. And actually, you know, now that I look at it, this is a lot more designed for the high lift, actually the high lifted toe and the oh my god actually where is okay so we have that's the studded look the smaller size there we go there we go those are like 40 or 41 inch tires that definitely suits this purpose much 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 better the trailer sits a lot more level too so let's go ahead and stop right here in cargo management and we'll see how this actually does hauling a load of long logs. Now, one of the most interesting things, though, is that the long log trailer is obviously not the only trailer in this pack. You also have the standard flatbed gooseneck in both normal height and lifted height, and you also have a medium length gooseneck, which is pretty much about half the length of this designed for hauling medium logs. Now, I would definitely recommend, though, if you're gonna do log hauling with this particular truck, definitely throw the extra weight on the front end because you're gonna want it especially when you start going up hills now moving out moving along i can also definitely tell you that it, it's it's quite nice to know that the little basically basically the pillars on both sides of the trailer are way higher than the load of lumber is ever going to be therefore making it so that it's actually pretty hard to get these to roll out of the trailer. And even if you were to tip it far enough for them to unpack, they would pretty much just roll around within the trailer, obviously the three logs, because that's all you really need in order to pack a full load of logs. But the three logs would roll around within the trailer and then you'd just be able to repack them. So it wouldn't really be that much of an issue. And I really do think that visually, it is one of the best looking logging setups I've seen in a very long time. I love the Big Tex logo on the trailer. I think it looks great. I think it looks awesome actually. And I really want to see how this thing pulls it through the mud. Now, one of the other really cool things about this pack is that not only are these trailers available to be used by trucks that have the necessary coating, but they're also available to be used by trucks that have the saddle low option. So like, say for example, you have an in-game truck that has the ability to use the saddle low, like semi-trailer hookup. You could use this trailer with a low saddle on like a vanilla truck. That is a huge deal. That's an absolutely huge deal for these trailers. God, this truck is really hauling it though through the mud, that's for sure. Oh, yep, sputtered it out. Definitely let it sputter out there. I lifted in, in, uh, in high and I should not have lifted. That was absolutely the wrong decision to make. Absolutely the wrong decision. Oh boy. Oh boy, easy. How are you gonna do? Okay, yeah, well, we've bottomed out the trailer. So it's not even, it doesn't even matter if the truck is capable of making it through there. If you bottom out the trailer, you're in big trouble. And I feel like most of you would already know that, but I just wanted to see how far this whole setup could make it before getting extremely stuck. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and remove the cargo, and then we are going to actually delete said trailer. Where is it? It's actually probably a lot easier to delete it from the create menu. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. It's a whole heck of a lot easier to delete it from the create menu, isn't it? Now we can just back right on out of the mud and we can get in position to load our next trailer. But at the same time, we don't really have an actual cargo loading point out here, so we'll just go ahead and make a quick run back to the garage, because I really want to try out the medium trailer. The medium trailer is actually the one I am most excited about, because with a vehicle like this, 
you're going to be running around a map, and you guys have seen on uh, on the streams where, say, for example, Diesel Addict and I are playing in co-op on some of the maps on the Wisconsin region, and when you're doing co-op logging, usually, if you're kind of trying to tidy up an objective or finish off an objective quick, unless you need to haul a giant amount of logs, you're gonna be using the medium log trailers a lot of the time. And so that's why I was really excited about the medium trailer because that's the first time Red has ever taken that gooseneck and actually shortened it. Now, I'm sure that it's very effective. I'm sure that it gets the job done really, really well, but it was one of those trailers where I really wanted to see it for myself. So let's go ahead and make a quick left back into the garage real quick. And this time we're gonna go ahead and load up that, whoa, there's that ass off. But we're going to go ahead and load up the medium semi-trailer, or medium logging gooseneck, rather. And trailer store. All right, so we've got our long gooseneck here, our long log gooseneck. Now we've got the long flatbed gooseneck, as well as the short flatbed gooseneck, which is really, really cool. Now we're actually going to look at the, that's the normal gooseneck lifted. And then finally, if we can scroll down to it, the medium logs gooseneck. This is, I believe, the shortest of the bunch, and it's actually really cool looking. I, this is probably my favorite one in the whole pack, and I don't know why that is, but I think proportionally it fits this particular truck so incredibly well. So let's find our medium logs, and oh, medium logs. This trailer does not support this cargo. Well, that's fun. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to do a manual load for that, because if it's not necessarily going to be happy about it, I'm not sure why that's the issue. Like, I'm, I'm not sure why it, it seems to be particularly grumpy about that. And I can guarantee you it wasn't selected on the truck, because look, we go back in, loading platform and trailer. See, it says medium logs, trailer does not support this cargo. What about short logs? Long logs, where, where are the short logs? There's the short logs, trailer does not support this cargo. And again, we go to the medium logs. Trailer is selected. As you guys can clearly see, trailer does not support this cargo. So what I'm assuming we're running into here is a glitch that I have actually run into before where the only logs that it'll actually let you load are the long logs automatically and the medium ones end up having to be loaded manually. But the problem with that is that this obviously doesn't have a log crane. And so you would have to have someone with a log crane waiting for you at your particular loading spot. So let's go ahead and actually, where's the normal, okay, there it is. There's the medium log trailer, now disconnected. Back this guy up real quick. And we're gonna do one more thing that I know you guys are gonna be ready for. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. And that, my friends, is we're gonna take a long load of lumber up to the bridge jump and see if this trailer can keep that load of logs intact throughout the entire landing process. Now, some trucks can do this fine. Some trucks and trailers can do this just fine. Other trucks and trailers, not so much. Now, this, I don't see it having any issues, primarily because this truck is running some really, really tall tires that are also really wide, and the trailer itself is wide and it's tall, or at least the sides are tall. So there's not really all that much place for the logs to go, even if they do sort of disconnect from the straps or the straps break. So let's go ahead and head up the hill. And, ooh, we're gonna have to change out the gearbox later, but that's fine. And even if we didn't change out the gearbox, we could let the freaking momentum propel us down the hill in neutral. And as we all know, that will get you some pretty good speed. It's not really all that, you know, all that crazy of a downhill angle. It's not really all that crazy of a grade. But even then, it still gets you going really, really, really quick. So let's see. Oh my god. Bro, it's... Ooh, easy. Oh, there you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. I was honestly really worried about high centering the trailer at the top of the hill. But I really do think that this particular trailer and the truck as well are... Like, at least in this setup with, the, you know, the 40 or 41 inch tires... I definitely think that you're above the threshold of getting high centered on most hilltops, which is definitely a big plus for running this setup on a logging based map. It's having a, oh God, it's having a bit of a struggle there though. Because one of the tires is on the rocks, like geez. There we go. Let's 
So once you get it off the rock, you're fine. Once you get it off the rock, you're com- Oh my god, completely A-OK. -okay. Until that happens. Keep in mind, we have the extra weight on the front end, and it's still wheelied going up that hill. That's how heavy that long load of lumber is. All right, real quick, it's time for a gearbox change and ultimate box. Or should I say, speedy speed boy box. Gotta put it in, I had to put it in low to get it to move. Jeez. All right, Beans, you ready, bud? Come on. Once we start to have gravity on our side, we'll be okay. Oh God, okay, the camera was freaking out. We're not even in sixth yet. There's finally sixth gear. Go! We're fine. Dude, we're A-OK. -okay. Like, I mean, we got half suspension damage on the truck, but that's not even all that bad. And really, the logs are plenty intact. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.